friends, Marianne here from Arts for All. And you just finished filming all your footage for your film. We're back for session five, where we start the editing process. Here we go. Okay, friends, if you're like me, you have a huge file with all sorts of footage on it that's out of sequence because if you remember, we shot by location. So what you're gonna need to do right now is get a piece of paper and a pen and you are going to take time stamp notes so you know what exact time in your footage file your scenes are. So I'm gonna show you an example right now and then you're gonna go ahead and do it yourself. So as you can see in timestamp notation, you're going to list per scene the moment, minute, and second it starts, and then the minute it ends. So example, two minutes and 13 seconds to three minutes and 20 seconds might be your scene three based on your raw footage. So that's what you'd wanna pull for that scene. And be sure to give yourself a couple of seconds of wiggle room just in case you want a little extra air in your edits. Once you notated all your timestamps, you're going to drop them into whatever program you're using by sequence. I personally love iMovie. It's super user friendly and you can use it on a computer or even just your phone. Once you have all your sequences dropped into your program, you can start playing with transitions. So I've gone ahead and pulled up the transition menu in iMovie, which is really awesome because not only does it list all the effects available, it shows you exactly what each feature does. So one of the things I love to do is always start every movie with a fade from black. So I can show you how that would look big screen. And there's the star of our film. Okay, so now that you've played with that a little bit, I want you to go ahead and pick transitions to drop between all of your shots for your entire film. I'll show you another one that I chose. This is sort of like a little dream sequence. Let's see if it comes up. That's the ripple effect. Now, once you've gone through all the transitions, remember to throw that fade to black at the end of your movie, just for that consistency. Let's see how it works with mine. Pretty great. Great job on your first go at editing today. I will see you next time to continue our experience on our at-home video creation project. <laughs>